today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 rules for romance that will bring back the passion in your marriage. Why do we put romance on the back burner once we get married? Keeping your marriage creatively romantic helps the passion keep going. With these fun and creative keys that I'm going to be sharing with you today, we'll be able to keep your marriage burning continuously. The first rule of romance for your marriage is to commit to having one date night a week. Now this can be challenging, especially if you have small children or if you have different schedules, but I'm challenging you to make it work even if it is just watching a movie together. It doesn't have to be expensive. It can be at home. It's just taking that time to spend together with no kids, no distractions, and nothing else. The number two for romance is to hold hands. Haven't you ever seen an older couple, a really cute, senior couple that is holding hands you see them walking down the street i think we all just want to go ooh and ah it's so sweet and so you can be that couple with your husband to be able to be an example where others will see you even in your older years or even in your younger years so take time to hold hands number three rule for romance is to walk together outside take a walk even if it is around your neighborhood, just take that little bit of time to be able to walk together. Even if you hardly even talk or chat, just having that time to walk, holding hands will give you that intimacy that you may not have had in your week. Remember, these are things that you can do during your week. And even if it's just you initiating all of these things as a wife or your husband, I'm sure he will catch on. The number four rule of romance is to slow dance together. Every Valentine's Day, we love to do this. We will put some music on after we either come back home from having dinner. We like to put our special playlist of romantic music and just be able to take that time to dance. Hopefully the last time you danced together was not at your wedding night. And if it was, it's time to get on the dance floor. Turn your living room, turn your bedroom, anywhere you want, even outside on your patio. Put some music, some beautiful ballads, and hold each other and just remember why you fell in love in the first place. The number five rule for romance is to watch romantic movies. How many times have you watched a movie together, but it has not been a romantic movie? Now, some of you may be doing that on your own. Maybe you do it by yourself. Maybe you're watching your favorite series. But what about together with your husband? Maybe pick a classic or maybe pick a love story or a Jane Austen movie and see if your husband can sit through Mr. Darcy, right? Um, he may learn a few points from Mr. Darcy, even if it means putting the kids early to bed and just having a few 30 minutes together, maybe in the evening or even early morning, whatever works with your schedule. The number six rule for romance is having a candlelight dinner at home. If your budget affords it, then go ahead and have a candlelight dinner at a restaurant or a really nice hotel. There are so many different ways that you can make this work, but if you are short on time and if you are on a budget, you can do this at home by adding some candles, making some dinner, lowering the lights, just taking that quality time together. It is said that a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And so if you want to cook him his favorite meal, I'm sure he will appreciate that. And I'm sure that it will also be a blessing to you. The number seven rule for romance is to write cards or letters to your husband. Even if it's adding a little note by their pillow or even in their lunch, if they take their lunch to work, however you can make a little note. And I would even challenge you to go one more step deeper and writing a love letter. If you'd like to have any pointers on that, I will be sharing more on that in a future video. I know that may be something that many of you ladies are going to love. The number eight rule for romance is get away with your husband. Take a weekend getaway if you can one time in the year, even if it's for one night, even if it's for a weekend, however you can manage it. 
I know it's hard when you have small children. I went through that. My daughter is 16 now and she's going on 17. I am in a different season where she's older now, but it is something you need to consider committing to because when you get away from everything and you get to come together, just be able to be like a young couple in love again, it makes such a big difference. It's like a retreat. It's a refreshing retreat for your relationship and it'll be something that you will treasure forever. I can remember all the little romantic getaways that my husband and I had. And even if you need to put a little bit of money aside so that you can be able to make this work, even a hotel room overnight would be sufficient enough. Just something that you are committing to each other, that you are saying your marriage is important. And the number nine rule for romance is tell your spouse something that is romantic to you. Sometimes our husbands don't know what is romantic to us. And sometimes we don't know what they like or how they feel loved. And so there is a great book I love so much. It's called The Five Love Languages. And it is a great resource. If you don't know anything about it, I'm going to link it down below. But it's a great book to start with to know how your husband feels love and how he likes to uh, receive love and give love. And also for you, because if you can know how you feel romance and how you feel love, then that can help your relationship so much. Before I share number 10 with you, I wanted to show you exactly where I'm getting some of these wonderful keys. I created this marriage guide in 2015 for marriage enrichment and to help bring the romance back into your marriage. All the wonderful ideas and all the wonderful tips are inside this guide. And so it is an ebook. It is on my website and I'm going to link it down below because I'm going to be sharing a lot more ideas since Valentine's Day is coming. But I wanted to give you, my YouTube subscribers, the first uh, opportunity to be able to go find out more about my marriage guide. And now the 10th rule of romance is praying together with your spouse. This is so important because when you pray together and have your spiritual time together, it brings intimacy in your relationship more than you could ever do in the physical because there is a spiritual bond that is taking place. And so I encourage you to be able to take time to pray together with your spouse, pray for your children, pray for your family, pray for each other. And I really feel this is one of the most important rules of romance that you can be able to live by for your marriage. I hope this video helped you to be able to give you some ideas on how to bring more romance into your marriage and how to romance your husband for Valentine's coming up. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you again in my next video.